Hi, how's it going? I'm good, thanks. So, as you may or definitely don't know, it's my birth month. So that's kind of been making me have a quarter life crisis. And I was thinking, I want to make an album. But before I can do that, I have to make, you know, a single song. So this weekend I took it upon myself, I was like, alright, let's make some music, let's make a song. Let's do a whole mixtape in a day. So that didn't work out, surprisingly. No, I did get two songs done. In the process, I actually learned a lot. But now, I want to share with you a couple of the lessons that I got out of it. This is actually my second time trying to make this video, because the first time I was like, oh, I learned so much, I don't even need to write down what I learned, and that was wrong. So, I made a list, there's five items on it, classic half watch mojo, but first, I just want to share a little anecdote that's kind of related, and a good segue into it, even though we're already into it. In the short time that I've been making videos, you kind of realize a lot about yourself. You can pick up on things that you do, and mannerisms that you have that you might not otherwise notice. It provides a different perspective on yourself. So recording music kind of shares a lot of similarities with that. So here's my list of five things. Five reasons why you should record your own music. Reason number five, or one, I don't know. Number five, similarly to the video thing, it lets you hear your songs and your playing and your music from a different perspective than you otherwise would. You know how people hate the sound of their voice? It's because when you just speak, your body kind of picks it up differently from how someone standing not inside of your body would hear it. It's similar when you're playing music. If you're just kind of playing, you're hearing it from a very different angle than everyone else. But then when you're recording, you can hear it from the perspective of another person. Yeah. Reason number two, or four. Four, I think, is the direction we're going. It forces you to play the song perfectly. If you watched another one of my videos, I was like, you can just play parts of songs and then combine it later. But even still, it forces you to play parts of the song perfectly. Because when you're practicing, you might be more forgiving of mistakes that you're making. But when you're making a recording, you want it to be like the perfect version of the song. So it forces you to fix mistakes that you otherwise might not. And it might let you pick up on mistakes that you didn't even know that you were making. Reason number three, music production's a lot trickier than you might think. You might be under the impression that it's like, what is there to it? You just set up a microphone and the fire away. <laughs> you probably don't think that, but I did. <laughs> and there's actually a lot more to it. And plus, yeah, you can apply different effects and it kind of gives you a better understanding of music as a whole. It helps you understand like what sounds work better together and what sounds don't work. Where does bass fit in? Where would drums be good? And by improving your understanding of music, obviously, a guitar makes music so and it all comes together. Reason number two is that it lets you play with different instruments or your own instrument, but you can kind of layer the guitar. For example, it lets you play different parts of a song, is what I should say. Like, you can play rhythm and lead. The alternate to this option is, you know, play with friends. But if you're like me and those don't come by easily, it lets you emulate that. So, for example, if you're to throw just like a drum loop into your thing, then it lets you play with a drum. I guess you could do that without recording. Let me have this. If you record, then you can hear it back later and that's a reason. My fifth and final reason is that it's actually just fun and you get satisfaction from making something and it, it's just kind of cool to hear a product that you made and be like well I'm just like the stars. I have a song. And did I mention that it makes you realize you're not as good as you think you are? That's not a good reason. That's not motivational. It's kind of true. Or maybe for me anyway. But yeah, no, it's cool to make something and it's sort of a reward for your progress. And it's something you can look back on later once you've improved and you can be like, wow, at the time I could only make that and now I can do all of this. And it's something you can show to your friends. You can post it on SoundCloud and get a lot of Cloud, er. <laughs> but it's a way to share what you've done with people out there in the world. But yeah, there's satisfaction to have created something. Back in the day, you know, you might have built a house. No, no, you wouldn't have. Like a painting, you know what I mean? And then you hang it on a wall. Same as that, just sonic. It's fun to make stuff. That's all I'm trying to say. And that's every reason why. I don't know how convincing they were. Honestly, just try it. You learn so much from it. It's just, it's fun. That's really all there is to it. Anyway, 
So this past weekend, I recorded two of my own songs. You know, I don't really want to flood your sub boxes with subpar songs. Sub box, subpar. But I do want to share them with you. I don't know, I think they've got something to it, maybe. I want to hear your feedback, honestly, if you could listen to them. But also, I just want to share with you, you know, the progress I've made. So basically what I'm saying, the point of all of this, I want to, you know, just release music. Here's some half-assed <laughs> lyric videos. Give me your feedback. Please. It's a Sunday morning and I'm feeling torn I shouldn't be happy But I'm in your arms and I love you warm And you make me so happy Temptations in my ear Say shit that I wanna hear You think that I belong with you In fact you may get it clear Complications might interfere I think that I belong with you But I've got somebody back home You've got me in the twilight zone It's only Smiling, it's for you. Come on, you 
Ta-da. From now on, videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you made it this far. I'll see you later. What a weird way to say that.